<sighs> well, this came in the mail today. I'm not going to show the front because I don't want to give away my address. So, before I show what's in this thing, I just wanted to say one quick thing. I placed an order on Bandcamp on June 18th, 2019. And it didn't arrive on my didn't arrive in my mailbox until today. Why was that? Well, um we ordered it. It never came the uh the retailer probably did not notice the PayPal statement in his email. So we personally messaged, messaged him, but we still heard nothing back until we decided to settle a dispute using PayPal, and it was that email that probably got to him. So, today, it has finally arrived. Let's see. I don't think I can just dash it out. Oh, actually I can. Yeah, that's right. Feast your eyes. This is the very grind that I'm talking about. This is Hellbovine, the master of wacky Christian grindcore. And actually, you know, this is the CD that I ordered. But in the end, he sent not one, but three CDs. I mean, this one you can get off of his band camp. For these two, they have the links to the Hell Bovine Store Envy on the back. And uh, along with that, he attached a note on an index card. And first off, he wrote my dad's name, Forrest. Forrest Liebizat. You know him as a pastor. It says, Forrest, thank you for your order. I checked my PayPal account and realized I haven't sent you the CD you ordered two months ago. I'm so sorry. I've included your... Cow Rot CD, as well as a couple other Hell Bovine CDs. I hope you can forgive me. God bless, Lance. Well, Sir Lancelot Sutton, we forgive you. Because this this is so rare. I mean, it, it's very rare. You can never really get your hands on these at stores or on Amazon or any, uh, any other place. You know, stuff on Bandcamp and Store Envy. They're the go-to, and you want to get deeper into rare grind and other metal music. I mean, this is more of the wacky stuff. But this is the one I mainly ordered, mainly because I have never actually listened to the tracks by Dead Risen, which is that guy up there. I can't find his music anywhere, and this was the only place to go. This was the only way I was able to hear it on this three-way split with Hell Bovine, Dead Risen, and Dysfunctional Rot Out, which, if you're a fan of Abated Mass of Flesh, then you'll know where those guys came from. Also, the, these were some of the only tracks I wasn't able to hear at all. And it also includes their uh, demo, The Devouring Feed. But yeah, this this is what I mainly went for. Now I've heard these tracks. Now I've heard Dead Risen. And it kind of reminds me of uh, Demonic Dismemberment and Exhumed Alive. Maybe even Engraver. But any of the messy stuff. Alright. I mean, this is the one that mainly got me excited. This had the most tracks on it. He also sent this right here. Two ways to sift through visceral debris which is a split he made with Grotesque Bowel Eruption. I know that doesn't sound very pleasant medically, but that's practically it. And judging by this number you see here, this is the seventh out of 20 copies that he has, and I'm lucky to have the seventh. In fact, he's lucky to still have some copies, so if you want, if you want something as rare as this, then go ahead and order it off of lenshorex.storeenvy.com or go to deftonesrecords.bandcamp.com if you want just the digital version. But if you just want the Hell Bovine tracks separately, then go to his page and download them for free. But if you want 
both sides, you have to pay Death Tones Records seven dollars. But I'm lucky that he, I'm lucky that he threw this in for free. He just threw this into my order, and I think that is a very generous thing for him to do. Thank you. Demonic cow spawned by Satan. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to go along with the elbow by name. This right here is uh, Desikant's Taco Appendage, and judging by the name, it seems like the sequel to Dirty Taco Agenda, which were mainly instrumentals, but yeah, he's got a long list of long names for tracks. Like, uh, there's even one where he mashed together the names of some other some other grind artists that he collaborated with in the Christian Grindcore Slaughtered Lamb split. It's called Reconstructed Swinery Conspiracy Deophobic Bovine Flesh Amelioration. That's a long name. I had to shorten it down when I put it into my iTunes library. Basically, uh, it brought together the names of Reconstructed Carcass Swinery the Right Wing Conspiracy, Deophobic Necrosis, Cleric, Hellbovine, Flesh Incineration, and Amelioration. Whew! Pretty long. Yes, you can still get this also from Lencho Rex on the Store Envy. And judging, judging by that code there, LR001, this is his first physical release. Uh, like, independently. Like this one was mainly printed out by all three artists and handed out for free during their time, and he was just lucky to still have some copies left. All right, and this is LR003, which it's like the third individual release. Hmm, I guess it's lucky for me to say that now I have his autograph as well. But this is pretty cool. As you can tell, that these were packaged in Memorex plastic casings. It's got some paper inserts in there, plus some Memorex CDRs with him writing the labels on there as well. And, and I mean, they're fun to hold, actually. They, they feel thicker and more secure than I thought they would be. Like, when I got this, which, I mean, it took a shorter amount of time because... It was from an actual record company who noticed the statements. I got this. It, f it feels very light. It feels like it's going to collapse when you're not careful with it. Anytime you're not careful with this thing, it's going to break in your hands. It feels so lightweight. It's pretty shoddy construction, but it's still cool to have as a two-in-one. But yeah, this cool stuff to have. A big shout-out to the man himself, Senor Lencho. You can visit him and listen to his good noise on hellbovine.bandcamp.com and you probably noticed that I used some of his tracks for my Gary's Mod Restaurant videos. Uh, I don't know whether or not I should apologize or say thank you for inspiring me to make some wacky stuff myself. I don't know. Again, big shout out to him. Big shout out to Zach and Matthew Plunkett of Abated Mass of Flesh for their functional rot out stuff, and for David Chimes for his Dead Risen tracks, and Dr. Doc for Grotesque Bowel Eruption. This is the first time I actually listened to his stuff, and I don't know what he's saying, so I do not know whether or not it is explicit. But, as long as it's still safe. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, that's it. I mean, I'm not gonna go into a two-parter like I did with this thing, that apparently got another disc from a completely different artist of a completely different language that got thrown in there. It was good. I think the next time I'll order something off of Bandcamp, I will add a little note. I don't know, but I'll probably just wait it out. So, uh, thank you, and I hope you like Grind as much as I do. I can't stand to listen to my own grind. You can find me on Bandcamp as well. See ya.